All right, so today we're going to start with our first lecture about biochemistry, that is basically bioenergetics. Now, first of all, you all should know what is bioenergetics, and then you can understand what the whole we are going to study. First of all, in bioenergetics is basically the transfer and utilization, which in simple words is the study of the energy changes that is occurring in a biochemical reaction. So, in a biochemical reaction, like simple, like in this reaction, this one, the energy changes that is occurring, that is either there's a transfer of energy or utilization of energy, that whole discussed in the topic known as bioenergetics. Now, the reactions in a biochemical reaction, they are of two types. Number one is the exergonic reaction and number two is the endergonic reaction. An exergonic reaction is where the energy is released. We do not need the energy. That is the product. It will be broken down into its reactant. Like ATP is the product. It breaks down by releasing energy into its product. Adenosine diphosphate, ATP and phosphate. Then you have the next, that is the endergonic. Endergonic is in which the energy is utilized. You are using energy, means the reactants, they will combine with the help of an energy to form the product, that is ATP. These are the two types of reactions. Now we will study about, about what is free energy. Free energy, it is basically denoted by G letter. It is basically the energy that is required for working. When reactants are converted into products, the energy that is required to convert this reactant into product, that energy is known as free energy, indicated by the letter G. Now, now what is change in the free energy? Change in free energy denoted by delta G, it indicates that what are the changes that are occurring in the reactant center or in both, which we will study later on. And it tells us where, in which direction the reaction will produce. For example, let's uh, suppose that the energy rate of the reactants is more and that of product is less. So the reaction will move in the forward direction. And if the energy change in the free energy is more on the product side and less on the reactant side, then it will worse in the reversible direction. That was all about what is bioenergetics, what are the types, what is free energy, and what are the changes in its free energy. Energy. Now, what we are going to study is how they all are related according to heat. As you can see here more clearly, is that heat, it can either be in a chemical reaction, heat can take place by two means. Heat can either be released or heat can be absorbed. Fine. When released, the reaction will be exogenous, and uh, when it is absorbed, it is endogenous. Now we are going to study two types. One is enthalpy and one is uh, then entropy. First of all, let's discuss what is enthalpy. Enthalpy is basically indicated by the letter delta H. Here is the reaction in which we will study about the measure of how the energy is changing of the reactant. We are not concerned with the energy or the heat change that is occurring in the product. So whatever is the change that is occurring on the reactant side, that measure of the change of heat, that is known as enthalpy not of the product. Now, coming to our next, that is entropy. Entropy is basically the changes that are occurring in both the reactant as well as the product. So, if coming here, we see that in the reactant and product, in both cases, there is any disorder or any decrease in heat energy, then that is not known as enthalpy, but that is known as entropy, indicated by the delta S. Now, what is the relation between the free energy between enthalpy and entropy. This is the equation that has been shown, that is delta G equals to delta H minus T into delta S. What is T? T is basically the absolute temperature at which the reaction will take place. And it is usually measured in Kelvin. And how to calculate Kelvin is degree centigrade plus 272, you will get temperature in Kelvin. Now, what is the standard free energy? It is that free energy that is available in the reaction when the reactants and products they are in concentration of 1 mole per liter. So, whenever the concentration of reactants and products is 1 mole per liter and pH is 7, then that energy that is available in the reaction, that is known as standard free energy. And that was all for my first lecture of biochemistry. Hope it is understood to you guys. Thank you.